Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky and today I'm going to be doing a Tag for Tag Tuesday. I wanted to do like weekly tags and then I completely like did not do it for a while um but i started compiling a list of tags i'm going to want to do i'm hoping that having some tags kind of like pre-planned out might actually help me like stick with this but i don't know we will see but as you can see from the title today we are going to be doing the new year's resolution book tag i'm aware it's february um but we also can see from my channel january was a hot mess i still have like two 2017 videos i want to get up if anyone still cares so um yeah so we're doing all of the january stuff no it's, it's leeching into the february time so we're going to do the new year's resolution tag today um mostly because i still want to do it now I did have the original creator's video like saved and they have since taken down their video so I don't know who is now the original creator. Um, if anyone knows, please let me know so I can at least link their channel below because I'm unable to link the original video. Sorry, uncredited person who created a really cool tag. Um, I did see this tag for the first time over on Heather's channel, um, Bookables. So, if you want to watch Heather's video, I will have that linked down below. Uh, her channel's a lot of fun. But, um, this intro is starting to get nice and rambly, so let's just, uh, jump right in. A quick note, I did not look at the questions ahead of time. This is a completely on-the-spot um, kind of answering so uh, it's all be fun so question number one is an author I'd like to read that I have never read before in 2017 oh my god 2018 <sighs> and I have two answers for this one I have you no know, we're gonna insert pictures I don't feel like getting them um, we're gonna do Cassandra Clare and Sarah J Mass I've said this a few times now I've never read any books by either of these authors I've heard some pretty positive things some kind of negative things um, overall though, the grand majority of people that I am acquainted with tends to really like both these books and these authors. So, again, um, sometime in 2018 I will eventually be putting up a goals video, maybe, we'll see. Um, but I plan to have a Cassandra Clare reading month and a Sarah J Mass reading month. I know Emma Books is doing a uh Cassandra Claire readathon right now I just um I don't have time for it in my life so um sadly I would not be following along with that but um I will be doing my own month long readings of those authors eventually I, I don't know when yet but sometime this year uh question two is a book I'd like to read a long list um one off the top of my head actually a couple a couple that i'm mad i did not get to last year um and i'm too lazy to get them so i'll just editing me is gonna hate me so we're gonna insert pictures um we have warcross by marie lou uh, i was highly anticipating this book own this book own the audiobook i started it and then i wasn't interested in sci-fi at that time so i put it down so we have warcross we have a uh, flame in the mist by renee audier another one super anticipating have both the uh physical and audiobook haven't started and what else what else, what else? and a couple of my most anticipated that i plan and would like to read include to kill a kingdom by alexander christo this one sounds really exciting and the hazelwood by melissa albert another super anticipated release that i have um a classic i would like to read is the handmaid's tale by margaret atwood um i got a copy of this book back when hulu was promoting the book in new york last year i still have not seen the show yet i've been waiting to read the book before watching the show so um yeah i really want to read this one this year and it's a short book so there's no excuse why I can't get there quickly. A book I would like to reread. I'm actually going to be doing a video of books I want to reread this year, but easily the Harry Potter series. I mentioned last year in November that it's been an embarrassingly long time since I have read the Harry Potter's books. Um, like I've read bits and pieces of them, but I haven't like done a full series reread in an embarrassingly long time. So I want to do that. I'm noticing there's a lot of book details I am forgetting or I know of, but I don't exactly know what happened or how. So yeah, I have the first 
three or four audiobooks right now. I'm in the process of getting all seven and I'm just going to binge them straight through so I'm very excited. Next question is a book I've had for ages that I want to read. Definitely um, A City of Bones. I have the movie tie-in edition like you see right here. Um, I got it after the movie came out and I saw the movie and I had no clue what the hell just happened. So want to read that one. This one I do have the physical book right next to me. Question everything just fell uh question number six is a big book i would like to read and i don't know what the definition of big book is so i'm gonna go with a few that i know are uh, not disputed well the one i do really want to read and i do plan on reading it this year is this behemoth which is jonathan strange and mr norrell by Susanna clark my sister has highly recommended the series to me um, she was looking for this book, I got it to her, gave it to her, and then bought myself an edition because I want to check it out. Um, so, yeah, really excited for this one. I'm going to be listening to the audiobook, but like following along with this over a thousand page behemoth. The next question is, an author I previously read and want to read more of, and I think for that one I'm gonna go with Kristen Kishore. I read Jane Unlimited from her, and I wanted to read the Grayson series. Um, I think it's three companion novel books. Um, with the Graceling, Fire, and I don't know what the third one is, but it's going to be pictured right here. I've heard really good things about these books, and I enjoy Jane Unlimited a lot, so I definitely want that one. Another one is Marissa Meyer. Um, I read The Lunar Chronicles, and I read Heartless. Really enjoyed them all, so I'm looking forward to reading Renegades. Um, Becky Albertalli is one. I've read both, uh... Upside by Under Quiet and Simon Versus, both are right behind me over here. Enjoyed them both, and she has a new book, or she has two new books. She has Leah on the Offbeat coming out, which is a companion novel to Simon, and she has a collaboration with Adam Salvera called What If It's Us coming out later this year, and I'm super excited for both of those. And Lainey Taylor, I read Strange the Dreamer, thoroughly loved Strange the Dreamer, so now I want to read the Daughter of Smoke and Bones trilogy. Um, the next one is a book I got for Christmas that I would like to read and I only got one book for Christmas this year. Um, I asked my family for straight cash instead. So the book I got is S. This is um, a collaboration between J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorse and technically also um, V.M. Straka because this book was created for this interesting experience for lack of a better word. But basically this book is like four different stories in one. Um, I actually might just be like two or three, but it's a lot of different stories in one because the ship of Theseus is an actual story. Like it's an actual book, but as you can see, there's a lot of writing in the margins. And this is a conversation between two people that checked out this book from the library. As you can see all of the library adornments. So yeah, there's some like library adornments on here. And so um, they were, the two people were writing back and forth in the margins and they have their own story. And then this has its own story. And then there's a bunch of like goodies inside the pages that like mean different things. I already know that reading this book is going to be like a month long project when there's something going on in my life. So sometime this summer I'm gonna read it, but I'm super excited. Um, I've heard Lily C. Reed talk about it. It sounds super interesting and I'm excited to check it out. The next one is a series I want to read start to finish and I have a lot. Um, Throne of Glass is one because the last book is coming out in August. Uh, Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm counting the first three as one start to finish series. Cassandra Clare, just that author because uh, he have the Moral Instruments which is completed and For Own Devices which is completed and Dark Artifices which is completing later this year. Um, Daughter Smoke and Bone Trilogy I want to read, Lainey Taylor. Rereading and finishing Trials of Apollo by Rick Rory Orton because the third book comes out this year. Oh, uh, the Grisha Trilogy and then Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, that duology. There's a lot. But those are some of them. Um, next one is a series I want to finish I've already started. Okay, stealing Rick Riordan from previous question and moving it, moving it down. Um, so, Travis Apollo by Rick Riordan. Read the first two, loved the first two, eagerly anticipating the newest one. What else have I started? I have, oh, um, Truth Witch, that series. I read the first book, so I want to read more because there's Wind Witch is already out and Sight Witch is just coming out later. What else? I don't know how many of the series I'm reading are trilogies versus duologies, so just those ones for now.
now. Next one is, do you set reading goals? If so, how many books do you want to read? I do set reading goals. I use Goodreads, and right now my goal is 100 books. I was very close to achieving that last year, and I started later in the year for like going towards that goal, so I think I can do it this year, and I'm very excited. So far I'm 18 books in, so a decent start. And number 12 is any other reading goals. Yes, I want to read Cassandra Clare, I want to read Sarah J Mass. I want to read 100 books, I want to read more diverse this year. I want to read some more classics this year. I'm shooting for about 12 classics, so that's a minimum of one a month. I want to get caught up on my arts. I might have two videos coming out about my out of control ebook collection. Um, the, sometimes these babies get forgotten, so I'll have a couple videos coming out about those. Um, I think that's it for reading goals off the top of my head. There'll be a video about that coming out eventually, maybe. All right, so those are all of the questions for the New Year's resolution book tag. Um, sorry, it was a little all over the place. Just wanted to quickly pop in and film this. But if you have already done this tag, be sure to link your video down below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe. I'm gonna be shooting to do tags every week throughout the rest of 2018. So if you have any tag suggestions, or ones you would love to see me do also leave those below or comments that way I am aware of them um, I'm on social media so feel free to add me links are always below but Instagram I'm the most active on Facebook I have the blog obviously I have Twitter I'm getting more active on so if you want to talk and be friends be sure to add me on any of those Goodreads yeah lots of things so be sure to add below Thank you everyone so so much for tuning in and i will see you all in the next one bye